Hey everyone, I'm Nick, and welcome back to another episode of PyTest Basics. So in this episode of the series, we're going to be taking a look at indirect parameterization in PyTest. So in the last video, we looked at a few ways in which we could pass the value of parameters from our PyTest markers to our test fixtures. And this was really useful because it gave us a way to control how our fixtures were initializing our tests. Now, another way in which we can do this is through this thing called indirect parameterization. So this gives us a way to uh, tell PyTest that certain params are intended for um, our test fixtures and not for the tests themselves. And so we're going to be looking at how we can do, use this in PyTest today. So let's go ahead and open up our example here in this test indirect params.py file. And inside of here, we have our two simple Python functions from last time. We have our sum elements function, which sums the elements in a list and returns a total. And then we have our test for our sum elements function called test sum. Now we've done two things to our test sum test again. One of which is we're still requesting this element list fixture here. So this is that fixture that we want to create this list of elements for us, but we want it to be controlled by some parameter, right? We want to control how many uh, elements that this element list fixture is going to create inside of this list. Now, the other thing we've done here is we've parameterized our test again using this decorator pytest mark parameterize. Now, how are we going to get the value from say, you know, how we're parameterizing our test into our test fixture this time? So last time we just created a new parameter and we added it to the parameter list of our fixture. And our fixture had access to that value at runtime. The way we're going to do it this time is through an indirect parameter. So to do that, what we're going to do is we're going to create a parameter, but we're going to give it the exact same name as the fixture. So here we're, we're requesting the element list fixture. And I've also created a parameter through pytest mark parameterize called element list. Now we're still going to sweep it over say our values one through five, but I've also added an extra argument here to our uh, parameterized decorator, which is this indirect equals true. And this is a way that we can tell PyTest that I want this value to not be passed to this test, but first be passed to this fixture, right? Specifically element list in this case. And then element list is going to return the value to our test which in this case is our list of elements that we're going to sum. Okay, so let, let's go ahead and see how this looks on the fixture side of things. So we'll go ahead and open up our conftest.py file that contains our fixtures. So in this case, we just have a single fixture called element list that we're requesting down here. And we've done something slightly different than we've seen before. So instead of adding the name of the parameter that we wanna to pass to this fixture, to the parameter list of this fixture, we're adding another fixture named request, and this is a special built-in uh, PyTest fixture. Now, the reason why we don't just add the name of the parameter to the parameter list of this fixture is because they have the exact same name, right? So uh, over here, we're creating a parameter that we're uh, passing the values through called element list. And then our fixture name is also element list. So if you were to add that to the parameter list of our fixture, we'd get this recursive dependency area, uh, error. Uh, to PyTest, it would look like um, element list is requesting the element list fixture, right? So it'd be this recursive dependency that would fail. Now, that's why we end up using this special request fixture. So this request fixture allows us to access the value of this parameter that has the same name as our fixture. So instead of accessing it directly, we just access it through request.param. You can find out more about this uh, request fixture um, in the, Py, the official PyTest guide, and I'll have that linked below. But that's really all there is to it. So we just add uh, a new parameter through PyTest mark parameterize, give it the same name as the fixture we want to pass the value to, put whatever values we want to use to parameterize this test, and then mark the parameter as being indirect so that we want to pass it to our fixture first. And then on the fixture side, instead of just using a parameter name, we're going to use this special um, request fixture and access the value through request.param. But other than that, it looks very similar to um, how, how we you know, passed values to param our, our test fixtures last time. Okay, so let's go ahead and quit out of here. And we can go ahead and run collection on our test. So pytest dash dash collect only. So we still see our test is parameterized with the values one through five. And we can go ahead and run our test using pytest test indirect params.py. Uh, and we can see that all five uh, tests get collected 
they run and they complete successfully. Now that's going to go ahead and do it for this video. It's a brief introduction to indirect parameterization PyTest. I'll provide a link to the official PyTest documentation on indirect parameterization at docs.pytest.org below the video, as well as a link to this uh, API reference for this uh, request fixture. As always, you can find any of these uh, code examples at github.com slash copy before arch. So you can find them under repositories and then under the PyTest repository. And you can also take a look at some of the guides I've written in PyTest as well under the PyTest guide repository. But that's going to go ahead and do it for this time. As always, I'm Nick, and I hope you have a nice day.